Welcome back to another episode of Rotary Rockets. So today we've got the fifth rocket in our Eliminator series of rockets. We're going to be launching this a little bit later, but before we do, let's take a look at some of the key components and some of the upgrades we've made along the way. So the first notable feature about the Eliminator series is that it's always been a 4 inch cardboard shipping tube, 36 inches long. So that's really easy to work with because it's easy to cut and easy to drill and it's relatively inexpensive. Up at the top we've got our homemade nose cone. This is my own design that uses the soda bottle for the mold shape. Uh, there will be a link down in the description on how to make this nose cone. Inside we've got our improved heavy duty parachute. There's a link in the description for the video on how to make that parachute. And then for apogee detection and for parachute ejection, we'll be using the egg timer apogee chip. And there's a link in the description on the video on how to put that circuit board together. On the bottom, we've got a standard four fin setup. Now these are through fins, so they go through the body of the rocket. Before the fins are installed, each one has this little backer piece that's installed onto the fin. That helps with the fin stability because it offers a little bit more surface area inside the rocket body and it also uh, helps so that the fin can't get physically ripped out of the rocket body. So we've been using those fins for the last couple launches with the backing plates in place and that works very well. Now I do have this little wire that's installed in here. This is only just for this one rocket. This rocket was originally designed for a different motor than we'll be launching it with. So when I changed the, to the new motor style, I needed a way to retain that in. And this is just a temporary system just to hold in the newer style motor. And the motor we're going to be using in this is our first design of our RoboMonkey reusable aluminum and steel motor. There's a link down in the description for the ground test for this. It was very successful on its first test. And this little casing that you see around here is just to adapt it into this particular rocket body. The rocket body was originally designed for a different motor, so this is just to adapt to this newer style motor. <music>
It was a beautiful launch and a perfect parachute deployment. Now we did take on some damage at the bottom of the rocket here when it hit the ground, so we'll be working on reinforcing that section of the rocket so that that doesn't happen in the future. This was the first launch for our new all-metal RoboMonkey motor, and it performed beautifully. This is probably going to be our standard style motor moving forward, although I do have a design for a four-cell version of this, which will have a lot more power, so I'll be working on that in the future. So don't forget to click subscribe, and thanks for watching.